I want to bring to your attention a national crisis. There are 44 million student loan borrowers out there in the U.S. today. Now, one out of four of those borrowers are either in default or can't make their payments. The average college graduate will owe more than $39,000 by the time they graduate. And they will spend the next 22 years paying off their student loans. That's a huge problem for you, for your children, and for any of your loved ones with student loan debt. It's no wonder the millennial generation can't buy houses or they put off getting married or having kids way down the road because of their student loan debt. When they graduate, life, reality hits them hard, very hard. Now, you can forget about the three and a half kids and the white picket fence. What about taking a job because you love it? Can't do that. You can't file bankruptcy either to get rid of your student loan debt. So what do you do? Well, I have a tried and true way of once and for all getting rid of all of your student loan debt. <clears throat> Would you like to hear it? Here's a technique. It's called pay it off. That's right. Pay it off. That's the only way you're going to get rid of it. This video is called How to Pay Off Your Student Loan uh, student loans in three months. I'm going to share with you a short video interview of a student of ours, Jeremy, who did just that. He was 10 years in on paying down the student loan debt with ways to go and in three months working with us with commercial real estate investing, he wrote a check and paid it off just like that. So let's go to this short video interview now and when we come back, I will show you how to put yourself in the same position as Jeremy. Let's go there now. Hello, Jeremy. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, I really appreciate you getting off of work, zooming home, and getting on camera with me. So thank you so much. No problem. I am glad to hear. Well, well, you know, this whole uh, uh, video interview is about you paying off your student loan in three months, right, using what we taught you here. But before we go into that, could you share with me a little bit about yourself? Okay, so again, my name is Jeremy. Uh, in my most recent years, I actually spent um, time in the military. I did five years active duty in the Air Force and two years in the Army Reserve. And during that time in the Air Force, I actually finished my associate's degree at the Community College of the Air Force, my bachelor's degree uh, in computer, computer operations technology. And once I got out of the Air Force, I spent a little time and finished my master's in cybersecurity. So um, those are some things I did recently, and also um, some of my hobbies are music production, and also I like to play video games and uh, work in business and work on building my wealth. All right, great, great. So you have this uh, great education, uh, great paying job. Uh, why are you choosing uh, commercial real estate to do uh, either part-time or for a living now? Um, so it's just after working so much and achieving my goals, I realized I wasn't happy. And I started doing a lot of research on, you know, how to build wealth and how to make money. And I realized working a job really wasn't the way to do it, at least for me. And, you know, once you do a lot of research, you start finding all these different ways to make money. And by no doubt, you're going to come across real estate. And, you know, I started doing research on it. And on YouTube, I found you, you know, I don't know how I came across commercial. I don't know exactly what I typed in, but I did come across your, your YouTube channel and started learning a lot about commercial. It sounded very interesting, and that's just how I got it started, and it sounded like it would make sense, so I went that route instead of, you know, depending on a job. Okay, great. Well, did you consider uh, starting off flipping single-family houses? Why jump into straight into commercial? So when I first started, I didn't know much. Of, I mean, I've heard flipping and things, but I didn't really know anything about real estate, so it's just really wholesaling was the first thing that I learned about, and now that I know more, I would say it wouldn't be impossible to do, but I'm happy that I started with real estate because I think it's just a simple way to start because if you were to do flipping, you're gonna to need to know probably the wholesaling side so you can find good deals, then you have to flip them. But in this case, since I'm starting with um, wholesaling commercial, um, I can just get the deal done without having a lot of money and just being able to find good deals and, and help bring money in to, to close on them. That's great. So you just dispelled the myth of some people out there think that you have to do uh, single family homes before you graduate in a commercial and you're saying that's not the case. 
definitely had no experience um, with real estate basically at all. I mean, right before I joined your program, I did just recently move into my first place, but I wouldn't say that that helped me in any way with the commercial real estate, you know, um, deal that I did. Great. Okay, great. Now, let's jump into your deal. Share with us a little bit about your deal. Okay. So, I will go ahead and say I'm in Arizona. That's where everything happened at. Um, I want to start a little bit from the beginning. Try not to make it too long. Um, sure, sure. I ended up, I ended up um, getting, you know, different equipment because I learned that, you know, the way I was going to market and find a good deal was through uh, letters. So I ended up getting a printer and paper and, and labels and, and cards and business cards and all that stuff. And I ended up putting together about six or seven, eight hundred letters um, after spending the time with the education. Um, putting all those letters together, handwriting all the addresses and sending them out and um, I got a couple leads. I did get one where the owners were motivated to sell. Um, I was happy they, they actually spoke first and, and gave out a price. And um, I let them know that the price was a little bit too high for me. And I kind of went back and forth with them a little bit because I actually did have a buyer who was interested. So I was trying to get them down to my buyer's price and they didn't budge. So um, I had to, I actually ended up walking away and <laughs> it was a little too early, but I ended up walking away from the deal. And you let me know, hey, Jeremy, you probably didn't try everything. You walked away a little bit too early. But the funny thing is, you know, I, I kind of dismissed them via email and they came back and said, all right, um, we can come down a little bit lower, but that's it. And once that, once they came down a little bit lower, you know, I went to get that property on the contract. And once I got it on the contract, I did a lot of marketing to find a buyer. And once I found the buyer, you know, everything was rolling smoothly after that, but it was, it was, I enjoyed the process. There was a lot of learning and, you know, that deal is done now. And I'm just happy that, you know, this program was actually a good program for me to get it done. Great. Great. So Jeremy, how long from start to finish, uh, from joining our program to closing the day of closing, how long, um, how much time went by? It was, I want, it was no more than three months. I was really surprised because that was, when you join the program, you say that there's a, a 90 day blueprint. And I'm like, that's my goal. I want to do the 90 day blueprint. I want to get something done in 90 days. So, you know, my, basically my first month was probably all just studying. I probably just did, you know, all my homework and just learned as much as I could about the business within the first month. And then probably like uh, a couple of weeks after I learned everything, I started doing the mailing campaign, received like some calls like the next week and everything was just pretty fast after that. But three months went from zero to getting paid, so. Great, um, great. So the way the program is set up is you have four weeks of foundational training, mm -hmm. and then at the fourth or fifth week, we show you how to market. So you basically got a deal done uh, two months after just getting your training done, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah that's great. So, so that first month of training, you learned about the basics of commercial real estate, what you like, what you don't like, how to do evaluations, how to talk to sellers, all those type of things, right? And then marketing. Yep, exactly. I learned everything I needed with, within that time frame. And I mean, because I have the results, I know I learned everything I needed because I got the deal done. So it was great. great. And would you, would you agree that uh, lead generation and finding the sellers uh, is, is one of the most important things in this business? Yeah, I would say like having done my first deal, I would say lead generate is the most difficult part is finding a good deal. Um, that you know you have to do a lot of marketing I, I do feel like you know i found mine early so sooner rather than later but that's definitely the hard part i was happy that i found mine as soon as i did but you know going back and trying to do even more deals i see that that's actually the hardest part the the rest is a lot Great. easier and on that hard part how was the process that we showed you how to do the hard part okay so like i said i did the the mailing the mailing campaign you know so that was really the hardest most physical Mm. strenuous part of the, the whole thing that was the hardest part was just writing about 600 700 addresses on, on letters everything yeah. else was not that hard and i could do the study and you know i can talk to people and and tell them about the deal send emails all that that's no problem but writing 600 letters 700 letters 800 letters and filling them all out that was the hard part right, i was like right. i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it but i don't know how much more longer i'm gonna do this i'll have to outsource or find someone else or something but i knew i had to do it to get the job done but at the same time, that was hard, and I still, you know, just got it done, you know. Took great. The time. Yeah, you did a great job. Great job. <laughs> now, could you share with us maybe your top two challenges of getting a deal done and closing? Where, where would those be? Okay. So, 
I mean, for my first deal, I wouldn't say that this was the case, but definitely, you know, going on to do more deals. The most challenging part right now is finding good deals. That's mm -hmm. like number one right now is like finding good deals because mm -hmm. you might get a lot of um, response from people from your marketing, but they might not be in a position where they need to sell. They just might want to hear what your offer is or they just, you know, they want you to make an outrageous offer for them. And if it's not what that is, then they're like, well, I don't need to sell anyway. Thank you and bye. So yeah. you have to find someone that is, you know, looking to sell and has a reason to sell. Like they might want the money for something. If you don't find that, you may not get a good deal. Um, and I would say second, um, the difficult thing was the letters, but, you know, I'm trying to get help and outsource and, and things on that. But just for the first deal, the letters was difficult, but I try to get that like outsourced and things now. So it's not as difficult anymore because I'm not doing as many. Great, great. Okay. Uh, so, you know, the title of this uh, interview is how to pay off your student loans in three months. So yeah. you had how much in student loans approximately? Uh, at least twenty thousand dollars in student wow. loans. <laughs> wow. Okay. And for ten years, you're trying to pay it off, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. I yeah. Started uh, ten years, ten years ago. Okay. And then uh, in three months, uh, working this program and closing your first wholesale deal, you paid it off completely. Yes, yeah, so I was with the funds from closing my first transaction. I was able to finish off my student loans, and it was just amazing that I was able to do that. This. I had years to go. So. How did it? How did it feel once you wrote that final check? Well, it's it's. I mean, it was, it's just been a long-term goal of mine, and I have been postponing it and paying on it and adjusting my payments. You know, taking more, like trying to do a hundred or two hundred or three hundred or five hundred, and just trying to stay consistent. And you know, since I was able to get that bill done and find another source of income, it was just it was just a great feeling to better just have it done after all these years. Yeah, Jeremy, that having that. Uh, the commercial loan debt, did it stop you from doing other things in life? Um, it didn't. I mean, I have a decent job, so I was able to balance, you know, having to pay down debt and, you know, making some investments. So I guess it really depends on what you're, what you're doing and, you know, what you're trying to do as far as marketing or making your investments. I was able to manage both of them and, and set money aside for savings and pay it down my debt at the same time. Good. But it can be challenging because everyone doesn't have a decent job. They may not have no job. Or, you know, they have other things like kids. I don't have any kids. So, you know, everyone has a different situation. For me, I was able to balance it out. But, I mean, I can imagine it can be it can be difficult. Sure, sure. Okay, great. Great answer. Now, Jeremy, how would you encourage someone uh, who may be watching today of, of wanting to get into commercial real estate, but they don't have a lot of money? How would you encourage them? Oh, that's, that's easy because that's me. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money starting out. So, I mean, once I found out about it, first of all, like I said, I found out about it through YouTube. I found your channel. So that is definitely, you can't fail by, you know, going on YouTube and doing that research. Your channel has a lot of resources, a lot of information to get you started. Um, I was able to get a lot of foundation there. And then, you know, if you keep digging, you end up finding, I, I don't know if Peter still has it, but I found the Udemy course and, and that broke it down even more. And, mm -hmm. That, I didn't have to pay for it. It was on there for free, YouTube for free, and that was enough to help me build a foundation. And also throughout that, you found out that he has a program, the Protege program, and that's what I took it to the next step after I did all the free stuff. It's like, okay, you know, I want to get actually invested in and get more help and get a mentor to help me get to where I want to be. But just starting out, if you don't have a lot of money, that's a good way to get a foundation, which is through your channel on YouTube and also the Udemy uh, course you have on there. Great, great. Now, Jeremy, what are your future plans? So what's next? So, I mean, I plan to do uh, more wholesaling deals as much as I can and build up enough capital to get my own, you know, um, commercial real estate property that I can buy and hold and eventually replace my, you know, nine to five income because that's ultimately my goal. I want to be financially free. So yep. keep on uh, building uh, income to build my wealth and hopefully do something creative, you know, after I find out that, you can only do so much with your own money. Learn how to get more familiar with using other people's money, whether it be hard money or private yeah. money, and, yeah. and keep on investing in, in commercial real estate until you know I can see what it feels like to be a little bit more financially free. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Great, 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 great. Well, I'm glad we can help you. So yes, it's been a you pleasure are. working with you so far. So let's do another deal together, okay? Definitely. Great, great. Well, Jeremy, just want to thank you for again uh, rushing home jumping on the camera with me and uh, and doing this interview. So 
we really appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone else out there would really appreciate uh, once they hear your story. Okay, so thanks a lot. No problem, thank you. Okay, take care, Jeremy. All right, thanks, you too. Okay. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Jeremy. What an outstanding young man he is. And again, Jeremy, thank you for sharing your story and your journey with us. I want to end this video by making three quick points to summarize this entire video to help you do what Jeremy um, just did, right? The point number one is the technique that Jeremy used to generate the income to pay off his student loans in three months is called commercial real estate wholesaling. And basically, I'll explain it in three steps. Step number one is you're going to find off-market commercial deals. We're good at that. You need to get good at that. Number three, you need to get them under contract. Uh, you're not going to make money on any deal that you don't have control over. You get control over by putting them under contract. Their third step is to wholesale the deals to qualified buyers for a fee. Now that fee generated by Jeremy was the fee he used to pay off his student loans. So the better you are at finding off-market deals, and I think we're the best at it, by the way, the more you're going to make wholesaling to your qualified buyers. Okay? Got it? So a lot of our students do this for a while to build up their savings so they can invest in their own commercial property. That's point number one. Point number two is, is for the person that has student loan debt. I want you to do something. Right? Don't just sit there, do something about it. I want you to say no to it taking you 22 years to pay off your student loans. That is ridiculous. The mindset I want you to have is never let good enough be good enough. Don't settle for the 22 years. Don't settle for 10 years of paying it off. Never let good enough be good enough for you. The third thing I'm going to share with you is I'm going to offer you a copy of my new best-selling book is called Commercial Real Estate for Beginners. The link will appear for you to download a free copy of it. So click on the link and download your very own copy. The very last thing I want to do is say thank you because the channel you are watching is the number one rated YouTube channel on commercial real estate investing and that's because of you. So a big thank you to you. All right. If you want more videos like this, please go on to our website, commercialpropertyadvisors.com, or simply subscribe to this YouTube station.